Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to get Girl Attack mods. Let's get straight to it. So, first thing I want to do is just join my Discord, link in description. Then, go to my Discord. Then, go to my Discord. Discord. Then, click Monkey Mod Manager. Click that, continue to download. Then click save, then it should install. Then, then go to your file, go to downloads, then click Moniki Mod Manager, double click that. And now, you officially have your mods up, so, now what you're going to want to do is just scroll down, then click Utila, TMP Loader, Newton Soft, X Inject, and Bevan Inject. Everything in, okay, so just click, basically, just click everything in libraries, except Banana Hook, and Computer Interface. Those are all, those are the stuff that you don't want to click. Now you just click install slash update. Now you go up. Now, I mean, I know you might be wondering, hey, why, why didn't you install computer interface or, or custom cosmetics? Well, the reason for that is because they're broken. Custom cosmetics have, has been broken for like a while and computer interface has been broken for at least four months now. So that, that answers your question. Now go to utility. Oh yeah. Uh, before before, um, I have to explain everything in plugins first. So basically, these mods are like these mods are mods that you use in modded lobbies. But we don't need any of these because we're gonna be using a mod menu. So yeah. Um, now go to utilities, click Bepinex folder, then click plugins, then you should see Bepin inject ROs, Xt inject, TMP loader, and Utila. That's all you should see in here. If you do, then you're on the right track. And then click minimize, then click minimize. Remember, you already have to have Gorilla Tag on Steam. Because if you don't, then this will not work. So you have to remember to already have... Um, you have to remember to already have um, Gorilla Tag on Steam for $20. Or then Monkey, Monkey Mod Manager will not work. But anyway, let's get back to the tutorial. Tutorial. So after you do that, after you do that, hold it. Let me just add this to my taskbar. All right, there. So after you do that, um, then you click the Bepin next folder. Yeah, after you did all that, um, all right, good. It's good that you did all that, cause now you're gonna go back to my Discord server. Then you're gonna want to go to, um, yeah, just go back to my Discord server. Then go to, um, GTAC modding again. Then go to PC modding. Just join PC modding. <sighs> then go to it. Then go to, um, let's see which one we're gonna do for this video. Oh, I mean, for me, it came in, Shibu GT don't work. Oh, uh, Void. I think Void might work for you guys. No. Void got, Void was identified as a virus, so I don't even know why I still have it there. But some people want it, so I just kept it. Um, Sublight. You know what? We're just going to use Shibu GT. Because everybody wants it. I don't know why. Not, not, not to like, not to like, like, 
just just click join and then okay listen not to bully shit but you see but in most of these fan the most of um gorilla tag copies that have mod menus for free uh this is a free mod menu by the way um in most of the gorilla tag copies that have Gorilla Tag copies that have mod menus. They're most they're mostly based off of Shiba GT download. So I'm guessing a lot of people want Shiba GT download. Not to bully him or anything, but I don't know why. So just click joined. I mean, just click join. Then go. Just click join. Then go to it. And click Shiba GT Dark. Then click download on this. Then click continue to download. Then click, sa then click save. What the hell? Oh, shoot. Then click save. Then after you do that. Then after you do Hold up. Hold up a second. I'll just do that after. And I should've done, I should've done that mod menu instead. All right, so hold on. Ah, right, yeah, I should have done that one instead. But after you install that, um, you just go to your downloads. I'll just create a new tab for this because I don't want to get it on my plugins. I recommend you do the same because your plugins are not here yet. You have to use the file for a while for it to be there. So I recommend you do a new tab. Then take Shiba GT Dark. Drag it to your desktop. Place file destination. I already had it. That's why I clicked replace file. Replace file destination. But I don't think you'll have it. So. And I already have a mod menu in here. So let me just take that out. I already have a mod menu in here. So let me just take that out. Move to desktop. My god, why can't you just move yourself to the right place, huh? Alright, there. Now drag this drag this file into your plugins, just like that. And boom. So now once you load up your game. Hold up. Now once you load up, now you can close this out, but I'm gonna keep it open just for context. But once you close it, once you, once you've done that, you should, you should be okay to um, launch your game. But if you don't, if you don't have a link cable and you want to do it wirelessly, I also got you. So just wait. Now what you're gonna want to do is just go, um, go to your web browser, search up awk. Less soft. No, no spaces, no spaces. Actually, yeah, yeah, put spaces. Oculus software download. Oculus software download. Now you just click download on the Oculus Rift software. Then you click download Oculus Rift software. Then click save. Then you can exit out the tab. Then hold it. Oh yeah. Then you go to your downloads, obviously. Go to your downloads. Then and bring that to your desktop. You can close out your downloads now. Now you just I already have it, as you can see. Where is it? Okay. I already have it, so I'm not gonna do that because then it'll mess up the app that I already have. But what you're gonna wanna do, what you're gonna wanna do is just double click it, sign into your Oculus account or meta account. I think it is. Yeah, I think it's your yeah, once you uh, double click that, you should click yes. Like I should ask you, do you trust the software or something? You click yes. And then and then after that it should ask you a few questions, you sign into your account, and then boom. 
eventually it shouldn't turn it should turn into this or it should open up like this so once it does open up like this you can just click minimize and you could throw away this move it move this to wherever you want in your desktop I'm just gonna move it back but once you have this after you set up oculus and you did everything I just told you um now you should be good to go like for wireless wired whatever you want so now once you get onto your oculus you're just gonna want to go to your quick settings metaquest link then go back to your computer click play launch in oculus vr mode then click play but i'm gonna launch it in steam vr mode because that's more compatible for me i don't know about you guys but they're the same they're both they're both the same goodness oh yeah i forgot to mention one thing you need to make sure you run your game one time before you do this so like you have to make sure you run gorilla tag regularly before you do this oh wait hold on hold on i got into the wrong account hold up i uh, sorry gorilla tag All right, so yeah, basically as I was saying, you have to make sure you launch Gorilla Tag once before you do, you know, before you before you install mods, you have to make sure you run Gorilla Tag once regularly. But yeah. my game and load up and then and then boom you should be good now as I was saying you can click you should click launch in steam in oculus VR mode if you don't have a link cable but if you do then click steam VR mode but I'm gonna click launch in oculus VR mode and like I said you have to go to quick settings MetaQuest link then go back to your computer and then click launch in oculus VR mode then click play but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it in Steam VR mode because that's more compatible for me. Now once you click play, you have to make sure, yeah, you have to make sure you're, you already run Gorilla Tag once. Now once your game loads up. You should be good to go. You should have your mods. Now, if you want to do what I'm doing right now, I made a tutorial on that before I did this tutorial. So, just, just playing G-Tag on your PC. On your PC. Now, if this mod menu didn't work for you, because I really suspected that it that it wouldn't, because I used to use it and like it didn't work. Because like when I got my new when I got my new account, it didn't work for me. So, if like if it didn't work for you that's okay um right after i make this video i'm gonna put the rexon mod menu in cappy's mods aka my modding discord so it's okay if it didn't work for you just click a different just click it just click rexon's instead because that one is better if shiba gt didn't work but but yeah that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe if you did uh that's how to get mods Yo,